in the preparation phase of the project, uh, the list of uh, candidate pathogens was matched with uh, a laboratory's partner's experience. It means that the labs work with the pathogens that they are specialized for. This was this is really important. Um, they all have expertise in validation of diagnostic methods and they all have quality assurance in place. And it's really good if the laboratory uh, has a, a experience with uh, organization of test performance studies before or proficiency testing. It, it really helps a lot. So for four research partners, uh, six packs, packs were selected for TPS in the TPS round one. Uh, in the beginning of the project, uh, partners in work package one had a lot of discussions to establish the criteria for selection of methods, uh, selection of tests, scope of testing, and also how to select the laboratories who will participate in test performance studies because this is always a very, very important part. The fact that there were two rounds of test performance studies in Valitest has provided us with an opportunity to select targets based on stakeholder needs once the project had already started. Um, so what we did was we designed two online surveys, uh, one for laboratories, one for national plant protection organizations, and both were asked to rank current testing priorities. So for the labs, that was done through the number of tests, and uh, for NPPOs, it was about current concerns. And these were distributed through the networks of the European and Mediterranean plant protection organization with quite a good response rate. And um, once we had the results, we combined these rankings in an interactive spreadsheet and provided also additional information for each pest. So that included whether they um, are on an EU annex um, and which one, uh, whether they had been included in a EU priority list of, uh, for co-funding uh, of national surveys, uh, whether they have been on an Apple alert list and which one, and whether kits are available for on-site testing. So all these could be then used as additional prioritization criteria, but while retaining the complete list. Um, and this list was then given to the partners who actually would do the test performance studies, um, who could go through it and discuss it and exclude any, any pests that already are extensively covered by other research um, or that might have been already sufficiently validated before. Um, and they also had an, an opportunity to add any pests that they considered important, but that had to be discussed amongst the whole team. And uh, yeah, and that was, I guess, how they then decided or voted for um, which ones would be, would be actually included in the second round of the test performance studies. Uh, for the second round, the pests were selected in the work package four first, uh, and then partners were asked who would like to take over a specific pest to organize TPS study. And five partners uh, were willing to organize uh, six different, again, six TPS uh, studies. And the pests were again distributed in accordance with the expertise of partners. And uh, during uh, test performance study two, we can use experience from uh, round one. And in addition, also we gained knowledge from uh, for reference material preparation, statistical evaluation from other work packages of Validis project, what really helped a lot in the organization of TPS2. Uh, 